Hi, welcome to Chima class. Let's solve these simple problems on the board. Solution. Okay, let's consider number one. All right, we have something like this. Okay, in this number one, let's produce a line from S to R. We have something like this. So if if SR is a chord, then then Y is equal to 60 degrees. Our reason is angles. Angles in the same segment. So if SR is a chord, so this is a segment, this is a major segment, and this is a minor segment. So this angle here are the circumference and the, the angle suspended are the circumference. They are 60 degrees. Okay? So y is equal to 60 degrees. Now 3x is equal to 2 of angle y. That is angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference. Our reason is what angle at the center is two angle at the circumference. Angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference. So this is an angle at the circumference, and this is an angle at the center. Since two is the center of the circle, so three x is two of the angle at the circumference, and the angle at the circumference is y, which is sixty degrees. But y equals sixty degrees. So I can have here. Y is 60 degrees, I can have 3x is equal to 2 bracket 60 degrees. So that 3x is equal to 2 times 60, you have 120 degrees. Can we then find x? Yes. So I will divide 2 by the coefficients of x. And so 120 divided by 10. We have that x is equal to 40 degrees. Now, if x is 40 degrees, x plus y is equal to our x is 40 plus 60 degrees, which is equal to what? 100 degrees. Therefore, the value of x plus y in this diagram is equal to 100 degrees. Now let's solve the second problem, which is under matrix. Okay. I I we're given that. Given that the determinant of this, this is a symbol for determinant, given that the determinant of this matrix is 9. Recall that the determinants for 2 by 2 matrix, this is 2 by 2 matrix, is just the product of the leading diagonal minus the product of the lagging diagonal. This is the leading diagonal and this is the lagging diagonal. So we have 3 multiplied by x. 3 times x minus 6 multiplied by y. Are you there? So we can equate it to 9. That means d and it's equated to 9. Alright, so we have here 3x minus 6 is equal to 9. Collect items. We have here 3x is equal to 9 plus 6. So that 3x is equal to 15 and x is equal to 15 divided by 3, which will give us 5. So the value of x in this matrix is 5. Okay? This is A22. Okay? We are now saying A22 is equal to x, which is 5. Okay? Alright. So, A22, that is row 2, column 2. The element of row 2, column 2 is equal to 5. Thank you for watching. For more in-depth lessons, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.